Hey, Rob Pink is here for the week four update from the 2012 Personal Defense Network training tour. Now, if you've seen our earlier updates, you know that we've already done some rifle training. We've had some combat-focused carbine training out there on the range, and Daniel Defense is one of our supporters for the tour this year. I was asked specifically in a follow-up email to one of our earlier posts which Daniel Defense rifle I recommend or which one I prefer. Well, this is the one. It's my go-to gun. Of course, this one has my logo on it. It's been laser-edged right at the Daniel Defense factory. That's pretty cool. But the main thing about this, and this is considered a V1 lightweight barrel, is that it is very minimalist, and it is, in fact, lightweight. Even though I get the full rail and I could put anything I want on here, of course, I've got my sling attachments built in here. Anything I wanted to put on here, I could, but I keep it very, very minimal. It's incredibly lightweight. I've got my Mo stock on here, my Magpul. I've got a little bit of an oversized release here, which I like. I've got my little T1, my micro from uh, Aimpoint, which is awesome. And then I've got a little tiny laser light laser down here because I really like to have the laser for your tertiary aiming device for the close quarters for something like a home defense situation. I like the lightweight barrel profile. Of course, it'll stand up to really anything I need it to stand up to. And it does help the rifle to be Daniel Defense, lighter, stronger, better. Now this week on the tour, here's what we did. I personally did my first open enrollment extreme close quarters tactics class in several years. It was a great class. I really missed teaching it. We taught it right here in Ohio, outside of Columbus. It was well attended and we're going to hear from a couple of the students from that class. Alessandro Padovane, who was overseas the last time we talked about him as being part of the tour, was teaching one of his safer, faster knife defense classes in Los Angeles. And we're going to hear from Omari Broussard, who's out here to work with me on a course next week. He was training with Robert Smith last week, and next month he's going to start his role as an instructor on the tour as well. everybody. I'm Kelly Muir. I'm a contributor to Personal Defense Network and I'm here to tell you a little bit about a class that I took, the Extreme Close Quarters Tactics class, which was part of the PDN tour. Now, I'm a lifelong martial artist and I have some firearms training. Uh, you know, definitely have spent some of my time in personal defense, matter of fact, most of my life. But I hadn't taken a class quite like this where we integrate the actual uh, all, well, all of the variations of defense, whether it be firearms, unarmed, uh, together in a self-defense capacity. Well, we did it during the class and I learned a very important lesson. And the lesson that I learned was the way I was carrying concealed actually, for me, was completely ineffective. Now, what happened was that I was using my purse and like many women, you know, I want to look good while I'm carrying. About two minutes into the class, it became very clear to me that the purse that I was carrying for concealment was absolutely ineffective. I mean, once I was put under pressure, I found that the purse actually would get trapped, it would get knocked out of my hand. Um, in the worst case scenario, I actually had it around, you know, I would carry it around uh, my body and it was more like a, you know, a type of a carry bag and the actual strap could get wrapped around my neck. So I knew I had to make some changes about the way that I carry and I was really, really pleased to discover that carrying an appendix style uh, for me, which I thought was completely out of the question, actually turned out to be pretty effective. So, you know, just dressed in my regular outfit now, uh, it's very simple, a very simple carry. I don't think anybody would ever know it, so I get to go about my day, but now I feel like I'm so much more uh, prepared for that worst case scenario situation. I was glad that I initially drove out and shot AJ, which I didn't even know who it was. I was shooting, I just saw a gun pointing at right. gun. That's how disoriented it was. He's like, you totally got me. I was like, I have no clue. I have no, you got me. I shot you. I, I shot who? I did what? Yeah. Um, and I like the other thing is, it's like, I got this whole game plan. So I know someone's going to try to grab a gun. I'm just, I'm going to body slam him. I'm going to pull back. I'm going to be the hero. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just, like, you do it. Like, I, I drove out. I knew you were somewhere. You were going to do something dickish. But I still that's drove out and shot. And I still stared right at him. And um, that's, I think that's the closest to real... Get. Like, it was that high I was looking for, we were talking about right. when we were waiting before, like, that unknowing that, yep. that made me apprehensive, and um, I think that simulated closest to as real as we could get safely, um, and it was very, very effective. Our 10x defense, uh, also a PDN contributor uh, out here involved with the PDN tour 2012. Uh, I have the unique uh, opportunity and uh, to be not only a contributor to the tour, an instructor on the tour, but also a student on the tour. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was involved with uh, Dr. Robert Smith of Direct Action Medical Network. Took his uh, his uh, course two weeks ago. Uh, great course. Had a great time there. Uh, now. 
I'm currently in Ohio getting ready to teach with Rob Pincus at the CFS uh, instructor development course we'll be doing this week and in the near future uh, June time frame I will be doing a two-day combat focus shooting course as a contributor to the PDN tour. Uh, the PDN tour, PDN itself has been a great help not only to me as a student and instructor but also to my clients. Uh, it's a great resource. There's some the contributors on PDN from Dr. Robert Smith to Mike Janich to Jeff Gonzalez to Rob Pincus, Tom Gibbons. I mean they just have a pretty decent team there uh, that speaks to uh, a pretty broad range of ability levels in when we start talking about self-defense as a whole. Uh, so definitely you want to check out personaldefensenetwork.com and get the information there and look forward to seeing you on the tour.